the first time. Good morning. It's sing in the morning. And it's exactly seven o'clock. It is Wednesday, hump day. Wednesday, March twenty eighth. That's the date. Rohit March twenty eighth at seven a.m. Rohit. Good morning, our early bird. You know, the early bird catches the worm. We're the worm. Did you know you that? Caught us. And you guys caught us this morning. Heck. Congratulations. So embarrassing. How is that embarrassing? That's that's a saying. And that's smart. That's so funny. I cannot believe it worked first time. Like I'm not even ready because it never works first See? try. Jenny. What's up, guys? Kim, Rohit. They all caught us. Got a lot of early birds. Wednesday's our day. Dieter. Deets. What up? Deets. Deets is on? Deets. Ugh. As you can see, I'm clearly waiting on Jess right now. Sorry. But while we wait, if you guys have any uh, prayer requests or anything interesting that's going on in your life currently, please let us know. And so comment below. We would love to pray with you, laugh with you, just live with you. Um... So, just you know. I'm here. I'm so sorry. Look, I don't think you guys understand. The struggle is real in the morning. Normally, Facebook Live freezes on us. We have torrential downpour as far as as far as emotions go. <laughs> For me, at least. But then we have to like reboot the phone. So this is the first time it actually worked first try, and I'm not as prepared. So, but I'm here. Unluckily. Good morning. I love being on time. We're doing a great job this week. So we know it's possible to be on time. So I think that's a, that speaks volumes about our our productivity and efficiency a little bit. Um, we're always on time. Are we? Are we, Josh? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if that's accurate information. Y'all, it's Wednesday and it is Holy Week, meaning that Easter is on Sunday. I'm so excited for Good Friday service. It's this Friday. At the Hilton Performing it's Arts. Good Friday? Yeah. Good Friday's on Friday? Good Friday's on Friday. What? A, I'm excited because I get the day off. Yeah, <laughs> and B, luckily. it's at the Hilton Performing Arts on the Prince William campus of George Mason University in Manassas. So I'm so excited. It's a beautiful venue. I'm biased because I love GMU, but it's a beautiful venue. So it's going to be the best day. And all of our campuses, so we have four campuses at the Life Church, and they're all coming together for this Good Friday service. Mm-hmm. It should be good. I miss my BAM, you know, yes. my church BAM. Right. That... It's going to be like Heart and Soul Five. It's going to be extended worship. Yeah, communion. communion. Josh and I are serving communion, so come on out. There'll be... We have an extra ticket, too. Tickets are sold out, but we have extra tickets. So if you comment below, if you want to come to Good Friday service, it's at 7 o'clock. We have tickets for you. Have tickets or ticket? We have maybe a few. So let's just see how many comments we get. I'll give up my ticket, honestly. That's how good the service is. So um, if you want a ticket, let us know. We'll hook you up. P.S. We're giving Sam a ticket because she needs one. So just so that you're aware of that. I'm giving your Sarah parents. Mel Davis. Yeah, I'm giving your parents a t their tickets today. It's gonna be great. We're serving with Dieter. Becca. Yeah, Becca and Dieter are doing serving communion too. So, ah, uh, Paula, I'm gonna give Leo a hug. Oh, squeeze! I squeeze her, and she squeals a little bit because it just—it's so lovable. She's a lot smaller than I think she is. All right, let's get to praying real Leo quick Dolphin. because we have some awesome prayer requests. Some yeah. people are. Needing, needing God to move. And we're just believing. We've been praying all week for these needs. So we'll just lift them up really quick. It's going to be rapid fire because we're going to get into the daily devotional, which is really good today. So here we go. Yeah, if you don't get a ticket, still come. We'll make sure that you get in. It's going to be great. That's true. That true. It's a huge venue. It is. It is. It's going to be great. The tickets just make sure that you get a, um, your first to be seated. That's it. So. But we have, to, we have some extras, so let us know and we'll give you one. So that way you can get seated first. All right, let Here's me... Here's the thing. What? Let's pause. What? Pastor Kimberly Rose Burnell... Yes. ...is up cooking breakfast for Ed and her. Are you... What are you saying? I don't know. 
just, you know, truth to table a little bit. I'm not going to truth to table you, Josh. Uh, I... I had a plate of eggs and bacon <laughs> right here. Is that shade? Is it shady in here? I'm pretty sure it is. No, it's not. There's it's a light. little shady. There's light. Right Joshua, here. we don't have any eggs right now. This is a situation. I don't even think we have bacon right now. We Did need to go to Costco. It? We were supposed to go to Costco on Sunday. Didn't happen. Yeah, it didn't happen. And we were supposed to get eggs and bacon. So we're going to have to starve this week. Every morning, dude, except Listen, Pastor Sunday. Kim, keep your thoughts to yourself. <sighs> Pastor Kim. Okay? I need you to do the, an intervention. This is this is not necessary for this early in the morning. Uh, breakfast is necessary. Josh, I would say your lunch is packed, but I didn't even pack your lunch, so I'm like low key the worst wife today. I packed your lunch yesterday, and I'm sorry. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't. I tried to pack your lunch, and then you told me I don't need lunch today, so you I you did it with shade. Ugh, what do you want for lunch? I did and not I go, do that. I go. I don't need lunch today. Thank you, sweet darling. Sweet love of my life. Is that how you remember it? That's how I remember That's it. Not how and it you happened. were like, ah. and then you left. And then I said, ah. Ah. <laughs> whatever. Ah. That's not what happened. Ah. Ah. Well, scoff. My Insert Lance. scoff. Oh, Jennifer West is on. Um, the chicken wings from Antonio were fire that's a great Amazing. idea antonio jennifer west can we set up a date for jess and antonio to have cooking lessons that is a great idea you can learn and from i can antonio. facebook live it he could teach me how to do i need quick breakfast meals quick dinner meals too <laughs> <laughs> Insert on why just breakfast why stop there? because breakfast is the hardest thing for me to like make happen <laughs> obviously because you don't have eggs and bacon in front of you but i'm just joking Jess cooks. Glad. Jess cooks and Jess. Josh, we cannot use this as our as our marriage counseling right now. Okay. Jess loves to eat. Let's, let's shelf cook. this. She makes great breakfast burritos. But again, we're out of eggs and bacon. Like I can't. I know. I, my I know. hands are tied. I'm... My hands are tied. Here's the thing. What you're going to eat? Like you're fine. Yeah, like, we have a lot of food. Jess can make some mad mac and cheese. She can make. Great, like pork chops. Okay, she has good. The only thing that you haven't made in a while is yeah. my lasagna. Oh, you did like the lasagna? Yeah, you only made it once, and I say I like it the most. <sighs> All right, let's get to praying really I quick, about and that. we're gonna daily devo. I I remember these, so go ahead and get the devo up. Jennifer West said definitely. Perfect. All right, Father God, thank you so much for every person that is on Facebook Live or yes. YouTube or wherever they're watching from. God, I just thank you that. Um, they're here and I pray a blessing and I pray favor over their life as we're going into Holy Week as we're preparing for Easter to celebrate your resurrection God I just I thank you that your life that you came down for us um, when we were dead in our sins and you brought us to life so I thank you Father for that for your plan and your purpose and your son Jesus God I just lift up these needs to you I lift up Anthony I lift up Melanie I lift up Katie and I lift up Na to you as um, they all need a special touch they need healing they need um, um, complete intervention in their mm -hmm. lives right now in Jesus' name. And I pray over every prayer request that's unspoken or the ones that I have forgotten. Yes, <laughs> God, you know every detail. You know what you're doing and your power is moving in Eat Jesus' name. Oh, and I lift up every person that is getting invited to Easter that they just... Um, as they're hearing about a church that they want to go to, that they will line up the right things so that they, if they need daycare, whatever they need, God, bring their kids, bring, <laughs> bring your mom, bring everybody to, um, church service on Sunday so they can hear about your resurrection. And so we just lift up these invites, give the boldness and the courage to the people that are inviting. And I just lift this up to you in Jesus name. Amen. Antonio for his job. And I love to be Antonio because this is an awesome opportunity. And I just pray right now as he's, um, he's already interviewed and he's just waiting. God, I just pray that, um, you move if, and be supernatural in this God. If it's you, we trust you. We believe in you. And we know that you're going to move in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Yay! Amen. Yay. Oh, Bye. daily devo time. Daily Deve. The good morning. Let's, the I'm going to say good morning to everybody that's on. Good morning, Heather. <sighs> ah! Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Justin. Kat. Jennifer West. Mary Ann. Paula. Brandon. Dieter. Jenny. Kim. And two others that I can't see. <laughs> What's up, guys?
Good morning, Jess. Ooh, an egg casserole. Oh, that's a smart thing. I could do that. I do. I'll work on that, Josh. I want all I'm, the gluten. My in my wife skills. You, <laughs> Josh, you're the opposite of gluten free. Did you know? What? This is a this is a side. Remind me after we hit like end. Remind me about when I said gluten. Did you know? Because you're gonna love this story I have to tell you. But I can't like broadcast it because. <laughs> so wait, you just said that, and now everybody's gonna want to know what you were talking about. I know, about. but I can't. Okay, okay, I can't. I can't. Okay, I can't. Quick, I can't. I'll you, take you out. You have one minute. I'll take out names. Okay. Okay. One of our friends. Okay. Is gluten free. Everyone knows now. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay, a certain individual in our life is gluten free, and she like we always like tease her about being gluten because not because we're not mean friends. <laughs> no, we just it like, sounds sound mean. Like, just because it's like it's every, funny like, it's because fun. she picks and chooses when she wants to be gluten free. It's right. just funny. She's like, oh, <laughs> I'll be non gluten today, and oh, and then like she'll Poor be thing. she'll we're be gluten free in like the miss like the worst time ever. Like, yeah, you're like, yeah. Really? Today you're gonna choose? But anyhow. <laughs> I found out what? on Monday yeah. that she self-diagnosed gluten. <laughs> so, she's not... so she doesn't know for sure if she is. That makes it so much better. <laughs> she's never went to a doctor, babe. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at so what happened after that. Is there a joke? There's a no. Nope. That's the joke. <laughs> so like every time, she, it's it's her, <laughs> her medicating herself. She says, "I am gluten free. <laughs> I like I'm allergic to gluten." Oh god! Like there's no proof to this. A- <sighs> <sighs> Love her. Love her. We're gonna get to her do a doctor, and I'm gonna ask her if I can broadcast it because this is hilarious. All right. When I found, I can't believe I forgot <laughs> to tell you this. This is like. But I thought I said, what? Hilarious. Anywho. Anywho. Daily back devotional. Back to the spiritual corner over here. This is Josh's corner. The daily devotional comes from Isaiah 53, 5. Luckily. In the NLT it goes, but he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Wow. All right. All me- that he is Jesus. Yeah. The message is so long, and I really want you to read it because there's a lot of good things in it. Okay. But I need you to read as like fast as you can. Ready? Go. Okay. A little parched. The message. The servant grew up before so God. A scr- as you drink in my place. God. The servant grew up before God, a scrawny seedling, a scrubby plant in a parched field. You're parched. <laughs> parched field. Okay. A scrubby plant in a parched field. There was nothing attractive about him. Nothing to cause us to take a second look. He was looked down on and passed over. A man who suffered, who knew pain firsthand. One looked at him and people turned away. He looked down on him, thought he was scum. But the fact is, it was our pain he carried, our disfigurements, all the things wrong with us. We thought he brought it on himself, that God was punishing him for his own failures. But it was Mm. our sins that did that to him. Wow. That ripped and tore and crushed him, our sins. He took the punishment and made us whole. Through his bruises we get healed. We all like sheep who've wandered off and gotten lost. We've all done our own thing, gone our own way, and God has piled all of our sins, everything we've done wrong, on him, on him. I love this. That is such a packed verse, and that shows, like, really what Jesus did for us. And so there's this analogy. You probably have heard it, but sheep are not smart. Right. So it's not really a compliment that we're being called sheep in this verse. But what's really cool, I didn't know this, but shepherds, did you know this? When lambs were born, the shepherd would break their legs so that they wouldn't run away and get eaten by wolves. Break their legs and put them around their neck. Um, so that's why the picture of Jesus, he has a lamb around his neck. The legs, he's being the shepherd for that lamb. So just so that, that he can guide them and she- the shepherds could make sure that they were protected. So he allows them to be broken. And if you put that on us, that we're sheep that, that run away and we could get eaten by wolves, literally defeated by our enemies, God allows us to be broken. 
so that we can be closer to him. And God, God is closer to the brokenhearted. So I just um, take that analogy today, and especially this verse. What is it, Isaiah what? 53.3. 53.3. 3. 3. 5. Oh. 53.5. 53.5. And just, I mean, meditate on the what, what Jesus actually did. Like, I just, I remember who I was, how, uh, what sin I was dealing with before I met Jesus, and I'm so grateful that he didn't leave me the way I was. Mm-hmm. That I'm, I was dead in my sin. I was not... I, but now I'm alive because right. I accepted Jesus into my heart and I have a te- heaven for eternity. So it's the promise that I get to live with because he was selfless. He was crushed for my sin and it's incredible. Right. So thank you, Jesus. It's really good. We're going to celebrate that this weekend for Easter. Boop, 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 boop. That was a very good point. Good job, yes. babe. I'm All right, guys. To say. I've got to go to work. I'm so sorry. I love you a lot. You are a minute late. Ah, I got to go. Love yeah. you guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 7 a.m. for Sing in the Morning. Good job. Have a great day. Comment below if you have any other prayer requests. Peace.